Some say, on Halloween night, if you go past seven black gates, you will see the seven gates of hell. I thought it was a myth at first, until I tried it out. I went past seven black gates around my neighborhood. And then I went to sleep. My dreams were in furious fire. Then it stopped. There was a man, tall and bulky. His eyes were rather squinted, which shows that he's old. His legs and hands were thin and looked like he could barely support his weight. He spoke. He spoke with a scratchy, dying tone. He said, Emo clue. At hit nevis dakale. He chuckled as he opened the gate. My whole body became numb, moving on its own. I couldn't fight it. Struggling did not work. I gave up on trying to fight it and struggling. Without control, I went past the first gate. Gate one, I saw fire, showing the corpses of the horribly mutilated, desecrated, and burnt. They were sobbing so loudly that I couldn't hear the crackles of the fire. One came to me with one eye and bullet holes all over him. He said, we are the desecrated corpses who did not get a proper burial. We are to stay here till judgment day. I went past him, to the second gate. It wasn't a building. It was a dungeon. There were people tied up, screaming in pain. One was being sawed in half very slowly, and his body kept healing, ready to be sawed again. One was the Iron Maiden, which the door being closed and opened, and the body looked as normal as ever. A man in an executioner's mask said to me, We are the torturer tortured by our own devices. I went past him to the exit, and I walked through the third gate. In gate three, I was in a forest. This time it was silent except for a few yells. There was a man hanging by a noose. Another one fell from a cliff and fell off again. I was running away. From what I saw was a horribly burnt woman chasing after me. I already knew what this one was. These were people that committed suicide. I ran to the fourth gate. It was a palace. I was in there. I saw a few emperors, politicians, and really wealthy people. An emperor was being gnawed on by lions. And the lion ripped the limb off. It grew back. The politician was being beaten by what looked like shadows and prisoners in clothes. A man in a suit came to me and said, We are the corrupted people. The people who used our power to help ourselves and not the people. I walked to the next gate, the fifth. I was in another room. There was a man tied up in a bed, lashed in floating spiky leather whips. A woman was being burnt by a lighter, but her screams and cries were muffled by a cloth, what seemed to be used as a gag. A rather large man came up to me and said, We are the rapists and the sex offenders, paying for our crimes on earth. I ran to the sixth gate. I was in a room again. I saw a man and a woman being stabbed, their wounds healing almost immediately. Another person was being buried alive. Another being hit and jabbed with a floating metal bar. I knew who these were. These were the murderers, harmed by the way they killed their victims. The exit was the seventh gate, the final one. The nightmare is almost over. Almost over, I said to myself. I was outside in gate seven, and there was a man wearing a shroud over his head, coated in explosives. He blew up, regenerated, then blew up again. Another one was being beaten, stabbed by sharp metal objects, and burned by torches, lighters, and matches. They were held by people who looked like shadows. One of them came to me and said, They are the mass murderers. The terrorists, the suicide bombers. I am a shadow of one of his victims, beating him and taking revenge for killing us on Earth. I ran to the exit. When I woke up in the morning, I was terribly frightened. The images of what I saw ran through my head. In fact, that was all I was thinking about a whole year. It became Halloween again. I didn't dare go outside at night. I just went to bed. It took me a while to sleep. When I did, I was in front of the first gate of hell. 
There was a teenager like me. He was staring at me. He was shocked to see me. My body became numb. I could not control myself again. I said to him with a scratchy dying tone, Ima clu out et nubes se tag fole. I chuckled, opening the gate to him. After he went inside with an expression that he looked was frightening, something and struggling, I looked at myself on a goblet filled that looked like with blood. I saw the gatekeeper. I became the gatekeeper. In fact, I am the gatekeeper. <laughs>